Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'll show you a quick way to reset all custom tracking and kerning from selected text. Here in my document, I have a few paragraphs of text where I've manually changed the tracking and kerning, although you wouldn't know it just to look at the text here. But I can reveal that by going to the Paragraph Styles panel and clicking on the button to show style overrides. So I can see that the chapter number has been tracked way out, and if I look up here in the control panel, I see the value, 200. There's kerning after a couple of letters in the chapter title. You can see negative 20 there. And this paragraph has been tracked out, plus 20. Now, to reset any of these, I could put my cursor in a paragraph, like the chapter title, and click the button to remove overrides in the Paragraph Styles panel. But this would be a problem if I had other overrides that I wanted to keep like the two words that have been set in italic down here in this paragraph. I don't want to lose this formatting. So what I need is a way to just reset the tracking and kerning and leave everything else alone. Now, this is a feature in InDesign, but you won't find it in any menus or panels. It exists only as a keyboard shortcut. And on Windows, the shortcut is Control-Alt-Q. Now, technically, there is a similar shortcut here on the Mac, which is Command-Option-Q, Unfortunately, if you press this, InDesign will quit. And that's because the Mac also uses that same keyboard shortcut for quit and keep windows. I'm not gonna press that now because I don't want InDesign to quit, but I can see what will happen anyway by going to the InDesign menu and holding down the Option key. And when I do that, quit InDesign changes to quit and keep windows. So I'm not gonna choose that. But instead, I'm gonna go to the Edit menu and choose Keyboard Shortcuts to create a new keyboard shortcut for that command. I'll create a new custom set. I'll just call it My Set. Make sure it's based on the default and click OK. And the command we want is located in the product area, Text and Tables. Now there are a lot of commands here, but they're arranged alphabetically, so I can quickly scroll down and find the word Reset. And there's the command. So I'll click it and then click in the new shortcut field and type something that's currently unassigned, like Option Shift K. I'll click to assign it and click OK to save that and close the dialog box. Now I'll select this whole paragraph. Again, press Option Shift K. And I can see that the tracking was removed. I'll do the same thing in this paragraph. Select the whole thing, press Option Shift K. The tracking was removed, but the custom italic was left alone. So here we saw how to assign and use a keyboard shortcut to reset all tracking and kerning in selected text. Remember, if you're using Windows, you don't need to make a custom shortcut since the default Control Alt Q will work just fine. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.